Hi everyone, this is Dr. James Dinicola Antonio, author of The Salt Fix and The Mineral Fix, and today I wanted to talk to you about salt versus sugar. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is addiction. Some people think that salt is addictive, and actually it's sugar. That's the white crystal that we should be blaming for addiction. The reason for this is because salt actually is an essential mineral. If you get too much, the taste receptors will actually flip and it will tell your body that the food is too salty and you will not eat as much salt later on in the day. In other words, your body controls how much salt intake you eat per day, which is why the average person consumes about one and a half teaspoons of salt per day. It's because our biology drives our intake for salt. Sugar is different. And when I'm talking about sugar, I'm talking about refined sugar, the white crystalline substance or high fructose corn syrup. That is actually potentially addictive in certain people. The reason is because when you isolate a substance from a plant, highly refine it and extract it and turn it into a pure white crystalline powder, then its effects are enhanced and you wouldn't get this from, let's say, eating a piece of fruit. So you get this huge spike in dopamine in the brain when you consume refined sugars, which leads to dopamine troughs and withdrawals, and this can lead to sugar addiction. The other difference between salt and sugar, we're gonna talk about insulin sensitivity and diabetes. There are even people and authors suggesting that a normal amount of salt can lead to type two diabetes or insulin resistance when, again, it's actually sugar. Getting a normal amount of salt has actually been shown to improve insulin sensitivity. The reason for this is because when we don't get enough salt, the body will actually raise insulin levels to retain salt. We actually become insulin resistant when we don't get enough salt. Whereas if we overconsume refined sugars, that actually leads to insulin resistance. So that's the second harm that has been blamed on salt that is actually due to sugar. The third would be weight gain. A lot of people think that salt is addictive and that leads to an increased intake of food. When in fact, we will actually eat more food if we don't get the salt that our body needs. So for example, if we're eating low salt potato chips or low salt pretzels, we might end up eating two or three bags of those to get the salt that our body demands. Whereas if we would have just eaten a normal amount of salt, we may not have eaten two or three more bags of chips to get the salt that we needed. In other words, our bodies drive us to eat a set amount of salt so it's better to eat a normal amount in foods rather than eating low salt versions because that can end up causing overconsumption of food to get the salt that our body needs. Now, it's really sugar that drives us to overeat, not only from the fact that it is potentially addictive by increasing and spiking dopamine levels in the brain, but also by causing insulin resistance in the body. So your body cannot utilize the nutrients as well as it should and it feels like it's starving inside. So again, when it comes to overconsuming food, it's not salt, it's sugar that's really should take the blame. The fourth is um, actually tooth decay. Salt has actually been used in ancient times to actually prevent um, cavities and to reduce gingivitis. It's actually been used as a treatment for you know dental decay, whereas sugar obviously is one of the primary causes of cavities. So when it comes to the harms on our health, it's really the white crystal sugar and not salt. And I did write an entire book on salt, the salt fix and the mineral fix, all showing why salt is very beneficial and why over consuming refined sugars are actually harmful.